2005 Audi All-Road, otherwise known as the Apocalypse Machine. So I'm going to go over some little details on here. Okay, this has a standard trunk. Um, it's got the little dog deal here for dogs. Rear window shade. Goodies in here. It's pretty standard. There's slightly sagging headliner in the back. The front's fine. The back is just barely sagging a little bit, which is pretty common on these cars. This has the privacy curtains that go up and down. Okay, so the 2.7T engine this one had the time belt done, I think, about 6,000 miles ago. This was serviced pretty regularly. This car is 65,000 miles. It was used pretty much just on the weekends, like a getaway car. All the services were done. There's nothing. It doesn't need anything. This car was kept indoors, and it's... I, I look for these cars a lot, and I've had a few of them, and I've had a few S4s, too, and this is nicest one of these I've seen in about 10 years. It does have a scratch on the hood which is bothering me. All the paint meter readings are fine. Um, the Carfax is clean. Some of these all roads have little issues with the buttons which is pretty annoying. That right there. All right. There's no pixel issues. Starts right up. Had the RNSC put in. Self-leveling uh, suspension still works on this car, and they had some of the bags replaced. said there's no issues on the paint. The paint is like a mirror. It's got the full roof rack. This just tightens in like a Velcro strap. And this guy right here lifts up and it compresses these guys down and you can put any bike you want in here. 